address. Nope. And they can't account. They can't. The administration couldn't even say who received it. Yeah. And the banks aren't going to fess up. Now that's something to protest about. That is. You think they're protesting about no. that? No. You think they protest about George Bush spending more money and creating bigger government than any other their previous administration ever? I think this more policy, you know, if, if uh, there is reason to protest, and we like to see protest. Yeah, but we want to see focused. people involved, and it, it having needs to be more organized. Partisan politics involved is it's, just trying to pull down the other party so yeah. our party could rise up again. Yeah. And I think that was the main motivation of the organizers. And they got a lot of dupes who are angry to be part of their agenda and their message, which yeah. may not be the message that most people who are protesting will want to be. Yeah. Maybe. Let's go to a guy who was supposed to be on today, but was on Fox News before this was happening. Yeah. Uh, Eric J. Odom. And he is from, uh, what is the name of it again? Uh, Tea Party Tax Tea Party Day. Party Tax Day. Uh, something or other. Dot yeah. Com. Dot so. com. And he is there with Bill Press, you know, resident liberal. <laughs> so, let's hear those uh, knuckleheads argue. Right, but my, my point is that at that time, they were the That's largest Press, and biggest the deficit in history. One after another, eight in a row. Where were these protests? Talking about the Why is that they occur in, Martha, in the first Martha, of, think, as 12 weeks is, of the Obama right, this administration? This is disingenuous. Right. Go ahead, Eric. This is disingenuous. This is disingenuous to argue that we were <laughs> silent last year when Bush pushed through the socialist style uh, bailouts of the auto industry. We've been outraged all along. It has nothing to do with the current administration. All right, let's stop him right there. And I really want to have this guy on. And mm -hmm. this guy, Eric J. Odom, from this Tea Party, uh, what did I say? Tea uh, Party Tax Day. Tea com. Party Tax Day. Com. He said he was going to come on. Talk to him yesterday. And we agreed in time and everything. And yeah. didn't show. No show. And, uh, you know, so, well, why are you mentioning that? Because I keep my promises, you know. And if I can't keep them, I'll let people know. I just won't do that. You know, that goes to personal credibility. Mm -hmm. And you lose your credibility with the people you broke your promise to. Yeah. And had no regard to, to meant call or, yeah. you know, so. But here he goes, well, the socialism bailout, socialistic bailout of the auto industry. Well, that right alone, that sentence right there alone tells you what side of the aisle he stands on. So Eric J. Odom doesn't want to help the auto workers in Detroit. Detroit doesn't think it's worthwhile if we, if if George Bush, his man, because he's obviously a conservative, a Republican, gave three, uh, three hundred fifty billion dollars to the bankers, which did nothing, and he has no accountability who got it. Probably went into personal accounts, mm -hmm. right? Payoffs, mm -hmm. payoffs, mm -hmm. illegal, crime, graft. You know, and, and he's not arguing about that, but he's, he's mentioning the money that was given to the auto industry to help millions of jobs, <clears throat> help an industry to stay alive. And he's calling that socialism? Hmm. Pause. In last, and the last administration has everything to do with government who is completely, that is completely out of control can, can of spending. Can I ask a quick question? And by the way, let me, let me just add one point. Let me just add one point. Last year, yeah. when the Don't Go movement got started during the energy debate, these same tinfoil type ha people said that the oil companies were funding what we were doing online. I would love to get that check, and I would love to know where to send the invoice. But the reality is, these are everyday Americans who have worked countless hours over the last six weeks, and it's an insult to us. Uh, for those who are just, uh, you know, making things up and, and hoping that something sticks and, and it needs to stop. It's yeah, absolutely cool. ridiculous. Bill, I'm like, not sure where the I, anger I comes wonder. from towards these people, Bill. I'm curious about it because to me, it's, you know, Fox, it's babe. free speech. Yeah. You know, a lot of Fox people are Channel, disgruntled babe. about mm -hmm. the economy. A lot of people are unhappy. And I see this very much being a bipartisan issue. You've got people out there who are Republicans, who are Democrats, who are independents, who are ticked off, to be, to be frank. Right. No, of course there are, Martha. And listen, I think you're, you're totally misrepresenting what I'm saying. I am not at all criticizing the people who are yeah. out in the, at these protests or denying that they've got every good reason to be angry. Okay. What I'm pointing out is it is very politically suspicious that there were no protests last uh, April 15, but suddenly they're all occurring this year. All I'm saying is I smell a rat. Look, right. I the economy was in better shape, not in great shape. I, I, if, but I it was in finish, shape Eric, if, if I can just finish, Eric, if I can just finish, Eric, I have to tell you where I'm coming from. On taxes. On April 15, I count my blessings. I'm an American. I'm proud to be an American. I'm grateful to be an American. I think about the great schools we have, the great military we have, and I gladly pay my taxes. All right. All right. <laughs> great schools? 
All right. Great school. Bill Prash, take your sword and fall on it. Exactly. Okay? He's proud I'm and proud happy. To be an He's American. Donald Duck in that video. Yes, proud to pay yeah. his taxes. Proud to pay my taxes. Great schools, right? Yeah. I, I don't know if Bill Press has a kid. He probably doesn't. You know, too selfish to get married and have a kid and support a kid. But if he did, I'm sure he didn't send his kid to public oh, schools. Like the politicians no. send their kids to public schools. They send them no all way. to private schools. Exactly. Great schools. This is, well, see, you got the liberal diatribe here with Bill Press, and then you got Odom, who, who's got the Republican diatribe, who said, well, last April it wasn't, it wasn't good, but it wasn't as bad as this April. Yeah. Well, it's still leftover garbage from your guy Bushy there, buddy boy. That's right. That was what who instigated— Who grew government more than anybody was Bush. Bush. What's the biggest who spent government more institution money? ever grown? Homeland Insecurity. Security. And who spent more money than any president in existence? Who ballooned our debt? George Bush. So here you w. go. This is the sad thing because we need a true protest, but it needs to be focused on the real evil and the real problem in That's this country. Right. And this one and wasn't. To me, it's, this one was politically motivated yeah. by Republicans, but they took anybody who was angry to pile in there to up the numbers and they claim that you know the tea party organization that there were two million people across the country participating perhaps so but unfortunately this and and on their site says like the beginning of a new revolution this isn't it they want the beginning of a new revolution to restore their full and party the gop <clears throat> we need a new revolution that is outside the box that outside is independent each party yeah not just more party wrangling like we hear from yeah. these two guys uh, with the Fox Baby.